Please, love. Can I explain? I think I get it. Not the best idea. Oh, why have you got older mum? What's happened? Oh, well, you know how dad's a massive loser? That. Chaz. Leave it. Chaz! Get lost! It's true. Stupid man. This isn't news to you. She knew something was wrong. I felt terrible. Oh, poor you! Go away, James. I was going to tell you right now. I was on my way. I had you all wrong. Will you please let me explain? I told you. I got it. No, you haven't. Not the whole picture, anyway. Oh! Are you going to draw me a picture, are you? Or is there a video to go with that? Listen, love, I don't have an excuse, but it meant nothing. I was stupid. It was a huge mistake. Are you getting all of these from a book? No, I was down. I was drunk. She was someone to talk to. You are, aren't you? It's the big book of cheaters' cliches. Well, you know what my favourite part of it is? You having the brass neck to accuse me and Paddy. No, no, this happened after that. <laughs> Listen, love, the Paddy thing. Oh, save it! No, that's how it feels to be with you sometimes, completely exclude it. I know I was wrong to accuse you of that. Yeah, why? Why, I like him. He's a better man than you are. Oh, come on, Chaz, we were good. We could be very... Please don't let this be the end of us. Actually... Can you do something for me? Yeah, of course, anything. Right, cos I want you to go upstairs, get your stuff and get out of my life. Can we please sit down? Actually, you know what? No, I'll do it and I'll send it on. Because I want you gone now. Now! Why would you... So what, you've just decided that you love each other now and again, or something? No, she's decided to revert to tape and be a troublemaking cow. Oh, yeah, because you've never caused any, have you? Oh, all right, there's been enough of a show. Let's just get going, yeah? But just so I've got this straight in my own head. You are stupid, right? Are you OK? What the hell were you thinking? I don't need an inquisition. Oh, just a brain, then? Yeah, you got that right. Cos I trusted you to keep quiet about this. <laughs> You guys are the best parents ever. Just slipped out. I misunderstood. What, are you ten years old? You knew I had one chance to make this right. It was a slim one in you. We're gone. Well, let's just go with yours, eh? Yeah, yeah, we'll come, won't we? Let's talk. Straighten things out. Have you actually got ears? You haven't got it in you to straighten things out. You are the same unbalanced, destructive lunatic you always were. Yeah, and what changes have you made from being the philandering liar I used to live with? Gone where you live. We've got a bit behind. No offence to Rishi, but. Oh, no, no more. Where's Archie? Uh, with Ruby. So I'm paying you to farm out my son, Emma. Uh, can I have a word? If you're quick. Got things to do. I don't like being here at this time any more than you do. How am I fixed for compassionate leave? <laughs> Jake, it's Sean. He's in a. Ba He's not good. And I have to be there whenever he needs me. I am not a monster. But I am someone who runs this place with minimal staff. Partly to make everyone's job that bit safer. I can't afford people skipping off. I promise I won't be skipping. <sighs> what if... what if me and Rach do a job share? You know, she's here when I'm not, vice versa. I need you here, or I need to replace you. I'm not paying her those stupid wages for a minute longer than I have to. Stupid what? I need to get on. She's the best thing that's happened to my dad in ages, is Chas. For years, probably. Why did you do it? You might want to ask him that as well. Oh, I intend to. Well, Debbie is going to go wait when she finds out. Well, thanks for that. You know, it's not supposed to be the child that tells a parent this, but what you do, it affects other people, you know. It was preying on my mind. I wasn't thinking. Well, I think maybe you were. So I should have kept quiet? Lied about it? But you shouldn't have done it in the first place. And what about you and Dad? Is that done? It seemed it to me. You'll have to ask him. No, you don't want him back. Right, that should see us back on track. I'm off home. Oh. Watch to keep Archie out of reach of anything dangerous, won't you? What's that? Nothing. You come in. Part of me thinks I should stay all night. And while I can. You'll be out on your ear. I asked Jay about me and you doing a job share. Do you know what it said? 
Gareth. Uh, ask Rachel, because it kind of concerns her as well. He said no. Said I was sick of paying your stupid wages. Take it. Is that it? Is what? You knew we were desperate for staff while I were off. Well, exactly. I had him over a barrel. You Sean to get more money? I did not. Well, if it weren't for Sean, you wouldn't be on it. Um, if it wasn't for Sean, I wouldn't be here helping you out. Well, you're not though, are you? Maybe if you want playing little princess. Oh yeah, well I'm well known for that, me. Um, I'm out of here after today anyway, so what do you want me to do? Uh, not exploit your family. Jake gives you enough for that, she didn't need extra. What should I have done? Work for free? Cos it's not like he's gonna give it to charity. Shame that. Cos I reckon I'm gonna need some soon enough. Thanks, sister. If you've got any more slagging off to do, I'd get it in quick, because I'm going. And I would have said yes to the job share, by the way, because I'm obviously so rich, I don't need the money. You know what the only thing this place is good for? Laying low. What? Ah, oh, nothing. Go on, what? Scrambling track. You start by the vets up there. You burn down here. You go back around behind the, the shop and the church on the grass. Then you go past the village hall, kicking up all the gravel, and back onto the main road. <laughs> well, maybe you could just wait at the bus stop for one that's going a really long way away. Just a suggestion. Yeah? I got a suggestion for you, pal. Involves your mouth and a zip. Understand me? I think you covered the basics. See if I owned that home that you live in. I'd build you a scrambling track on the land. Maybe get a bike too. Yeah? Yeah, of course. Perhaps one of those old Land Rovers for burning around, innit? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna hold my breath on Mum doing any of that. Oh, come on, son. Life's not that bad. Oh yeah, you reckon? She's called the police on me. She's treating me like I'm criminally insane. And that's not even counting the fact that she may just move away and come here. I know. But on the upside, your dad's gonna buy you a pint, isn't he? Yeah. Why not? Alicia might be working the... The way she led you on. She's the one who should be worried. <laughs> come on, you. Dad. Want me to see if the coast is clear? Okay. Where's Mum now? I'm gonna lie down. Yeah? Say anything? Yeah, she said, I'm having a lie down. That's how I know. About Dad? Yeah, I didn't ask. I would have, but I'm only just managing not to be sick, so I'm gonna stick at this for a while. <sighs> it's weird, this. Not them, you know, doing it. It's just, well, no, actually, it is, I guess. It's just. Oh, well, cheers for clearing that but up. At least I'm trying to make sense of it, all right? You haven't even said anything. Yeah, well, I'm just going over my apology, my head to Debbie and her family. It's gonna get me right in there with him, this is. <sighs> I did not expect this when I went looking for her. It's a wonder we're all so well adjusted, really, isn't it? How long am I supposed to stand waiting? At least onto your phone. What's all this? James's stuff. What, he's leaving? He's left. Kicked him out. Hang on, you were fine again this morning. I didn't know he'd knocked off Emma this morning. I said wait in the bar. Yeah, I heard what you said. For James and Emma, recently. The other night, she said. Oh, what, and you believe her? I believe him. He admitted it. Yeah, he admitted it to you and all, didn't he? Only slightly earlier than he did to me. He wanted to tell you. It, it wasn't my place to beat him to it. Plus, I, I was worried what you might do. We'll see how that works out for you when I find him. I'll leave, leave him. Why are you sticking up for him? I'm not. It should be me who has this chat with him. Oh, I don't want anyone chatting to him. I don't want him making it into a big deal. Yeah, well, it is a big deal. No, Aaron. Someone you love dying horrifically is a big deal. You know that better than me. When Katie died, he was fantastic. I thought, hey, Hub, could be the one. <laughs> I don't care if I'm enough for some stupid bloke or not. Uh, two pints of lager, please, love. I can't serve him a pint. Then I'll have a lemonade, a pint of beer, and a spare glass. So you can make a shandy? You should be grateful of the custom. Pubs are closing down all over the place, you know. Yes, and some of them for serving alcohol to children. Oh, come on. What harm's one beer gonna do? 
I've already given you an example. Yeah. You can keep the change. Oi, pal. Stop hassling. I'm no hassling. I'm negotiating. Well, you can stop that and all and start walking, both of you. I don't get your problem. Maybe she doesn't want a sex pest in a pub. Yeah? Then how come you're still here? Come on, Lucky. Let's go somewhere else. Like the 21st century. Evening. Ah! Sorry, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, I was just sneaking up on you. What, because you're eight? Right, I'm going to ask you a question and don't be so tedious as to say nothing because I know something is. What's up? James has been cheating on my mum. Does she know? Who is it? Emma. Oh, how unoriginal. Is she all right? I don't know. I mean, where does he get off on that, though, after what she's been through? Is she down the pub? Yeah, putting on a brave face, packing his bags when I left. Well, go and help her. She doesn't want to talk about it. Well, she doesn't have to, does she? It's just nice to have someone there sometimes, isn't it? Is this it? Well, I didn't promise the Ritz. Come on. We'll amuse ourselves by ordering things and sending them back. No, we won't. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, not a problem. Middle name's Cabby. What are you doing? Stop walking, Paddy. Well, I will do if you tell me what you're going. I'm doing what you told me to do, like a good little boy. Are you happy now? Well, not really, no. Well, that makes two of us then, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Having a sly go when no one's watching. It'd be about right for me, that, seeing as how I am sly. Never that. Who's told you that? Ali. According to her, I'll take advantage of Sean being hurt so I can get myself a better deal there at the factory. Have you? No. But he needed staff because she's taking time off, so I said I'll do it. But I want such and such. Ah, so you have then, a bit, right? Like, technically. Is this your way of supporting me? Because it's pretty much on par with the rest of your lot. You know, I'm getting it from both sides, Sam, and I'm sick of it. Flipping out, Rich. Morning message. Yeah, well done. <sighs> you know, I, I had a flipping nightmare last year. Out on my own, with Archie to look after. Some days, some weeks, we didn't even have enough food to get by. And, and now I'm some sort of monster for trying to do what's right by my little lad. <sighs> Ali's just worried about her lad, that's all. I get that. She wasn't so worried about me, was she? She fretted like mad from the comfort of a sofa. Look, you've got your family back now. You'd give anything for that a few months ago, wouldn't you? It don't mean I'm willing to take whatever abuse comes my way. Come in. Uh, can you spare a minute? Didn't you just leave? Yeah, I did. But you love it here, <laughs> which shows what a brilliant boss I am. Yeah, that's it. Um, right, you know this situation with Ali? You're not getting a pay rise. Oh, no, I just thought that Belle might be able to help out a bit, that's all. Not full-time, uh, whenever. And bring her vast experience with her. Not to put me and my fellow workers down, but it's not like we're splitting the atom, are we? Look, she'd work for buttons and make sure that she'd knuckle down or she'd need something like this, Jay. Truth be told, she'd be looking for work in Leeds and she's talking about moving there. Lisa, and I, Lisa! And I, I get that you want to keep an eye on her. And yeah, maybe we're not a laboratory. But we're also not a crash. I'm sorry. It's like every way I turn it up with a slapping face. I just want to do best by our Sean. I know you too, love. But so does he. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to jack my job in. But Ali, you'll get no dole if you do that. My wage isn't enough. Oh, here she is. Comfort silverware of you. Um, A, like you've got any, and B, I thought I lived here. Yeah, well, I thought a lot of things as well, but I was wrong. Oh, can we take a breath, please? I found her, sat feeling sad. I told her she was being daft. Well, she's not daft, Sam. I'll give her that. See? Oh, you've been mourning as well, have you? Well, I learnt from the best. This isn't doing anyone any good, OK? Don't say I used Sean to make money. I didn't, and that's not fair. No, you just seized an opportunity. Not even. 
I was offered a job and I took it. And the money? Like I said, I'm not going to work for free, am I? And you're not going to live for free either. Now you're back, you can start paying your way and stumping up some rent as well. Where's my mum? She called me to get my things, made herself scarce. Please tell her I'm sorry. I already have, but... Um... Instead of being sorry, why don't you just not do it in the first place? Don't get me wrong, I'm not remotely bothered that you're not together. I think you're a little muppet. Aaron, walk away, yeah. Well, because you feel awkward. Because it's what your mum wants. Ah, oh, but you're big on that, aren't you? Giving her what she wants. No, it turns out I'm really bad at that, actually. I guess we got that in common. You are? Doesn't matter. No, go on. Listen, Aaron, I've let Chaz down and I'm sorry about that. And I'm sorry for myself as well because I've thrown away something really good. But you get a free pass every time you mess up. That's fine. You're her son. But, boy, do you need it. What's good and quick, Diane? Eric's got cooker trouble. Well, thanks for making us your standby option. Your best friend's just died. She's still getting over that and you didn't give a second thought to what was going on in her head. Oh, there's plenty going on in her head that I don't know about. You take up so much of a time with your pathetic little dramas. Why don't you man up and face what you've done instead of hiding behind your mummy? At least I've told people what I've done. Do the same, you coward. How oh, is it? That's good. Made up for you. What are we watching? Parents do the funniest things. Except it wasn't that funny, was it? To you. Was it to you? No, I didn't mean... I mean, you're not that happy, are you? Whoa, I'm pleased. Tell he's on, feet up, beer in hand. Yay! Are you hoping to get back with him? Dad. What I'm hoping is that I haven't put you boys in an awkward... No, I have put you in an awkward position. I know I have. It's fine. Is it? Yeah, of course it is. I mean, I thought it might be awkward for me, with Debbie and them, especially with Chaz being her auntie and the best mate. Pete, I promise you, I never meant to cause any... Well, it's not like she's not had a good run. Uh, Chaz, I mean, with blokes. You know, after that bloke tried to shoot her, drown her. Yeah, she was due a bit of bad luck to keep her grounded. Looks like you and him have done her a favour. How many beers are left in the fridge? A couple. It's not going to be enough. Where are you going? Up. I don't think that's a good idea. Of course it is. It's a Barton speciality. If you want me to fight back, you're a lucky. I wouldn't expect anything different. All right, he's going. I should do something. No, 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 stay there. James? It's all right, I'm leaving. Yeah, we'll do it quicker. What did I specifically say? Look, I'm sorting it. We was asking for it. Well, I asked first. Are you OK? Yeah. No more than I deserve. Come on. Good time. Here's his stuff. What the hell have you done to me? There was nothing to do with him, it was me. No, 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 no! Paddy's face. It was like, right, I'm owned, wasn't it? <laughs> I didn't look back. I'm just not having my son take any more flag, you know? Well, I'm glad to hear it. And then we went to the pub for a lemonade. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Kane comes in, giving it all, you know, like he does. <laughs> yeah. And uh, then he said, um, I don't know, something you found funny. And uh, you just turned it right back around him, didn't you? Guilty. Stared him right down. <laughs> Well, it certainly sounds like you've earned that extremely large 24-year-old single malt you've poured yourself. Sorry. No, 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 no. I mean it. So please, go ahead. Pour yourself another when you're ready. I'll get it. Oh, thank you, sir. Hmm. Anything exciting? Sorry? Oh, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Just, uh, PPI. Ah. They're a pain, aren't they? <laughs> Oh, my God. Hey, and Aaron? Just Aaron, apparently. Right, we having him, then? No, you're not. Oh, sit down. We need to get you cleaned up. Do you have a first aid kit? Oh, of course you don't, you boys. I'll get mine. Oh, we've got one of you. 
It's only a matter of time he gets it. How could he not? I hope he snuck up on you. A bit embarrassing otherwise. Gay bloke. On crutches. Oh, yeah, that's the spirit. Here. Sit still. We should call the police. No. He's obviously a danger. Yeah, only to people who do what Dad did. What your father did. What we did was, well, not very well thought out, we admit it, but sometimes these things happen. Ow. James. James, stay still. You might have to go to the hospital. No. Now, these, this is nothing. This is just cuts and scrapes. Real damage isn't here. Knowing how I've made Chaz feel and for what. I know. I know you feel guilty. Well, what, what? Some drunken fumble with a ghost from the past who means nothing to me and hasn't for a very long time. Stay away from me, Emma. You're poisonous. The singing dog even fooled Simon Cowell this weekend. The br brilliant brand new series of Britain's Got Talent is back at 8 this Super Saturday before Bradley Walsh, Holly Willoughby and Frank Lampard play to the whistle. Brand new at 9.20. Next tonight, watch out on the roads and some pavements. We're at the Double Decker Driving School. <laughs>